Okay, here we're going to um, fix a lamb. This is um, actually three sections. We have the shank portion, which actually has the bone in it. This is the most tender section that you're going to get. The meat will just melt in your mouth on this section. This section has the most meat, and it's the upper thigh um, portion, or the what they call the roast. But they do have the most meat. Here we have about nine pounds of lamb, which is a little bit more than a whole leg. Um, and I've got it in a cooking bag. And the reason I've got it in a cooking bag today is because I'm using a, a different kind of roaster. Um, but for me, when it comes to cooking meat, low and slow is important. Uh, low temperature and uh, slow amount of time. And keeping the meat sealed so that none of the flavor or the juices escape and dry out the meat. In this bag, um, I only use a couple of things. I use fresh rosemary. You just throw the whole branch in there. I'm going to have two of them this time. The next thing for lamb is garlic. And garlic, 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 garlic. You can never have too much garlic when it comes to lamb. This is roasted garlic. The whole thing is going to go in there. And then this is um, some garlic with uh, olive oil. And that's going to go in there as well. If you can see, I've covered the meat in gar covered the meat in garlic. Now the juice on the inside of the bag um, for moisture. I don't actually use water or white wine. Um, I use my stewed tomatoes. I have um, taken fresh tomatoes and chopped them. These are almost thawed out. You notice this is a frozen chunk that's in here. And um, I'm going to add the tomatoes, this frozen chunk, and when it thaws and cooks, it'll add moisture in there. I'm putting that right in there on top of the lamb. And I'm going to going ahead and I'm going to add some of the other stewed tomatoes right over on top of that. Later, what we're going to do is we're going to take the juice that the lamb makes and the stewed tomatoes and we're going to make a sauce to go over the lamb on the table and we're going to tie off the bag and we're going to put it into an oven that again is about 300 degrees you'll know when the meat is done or your turkey or whatever is done when the bone has completely shrunk away or the meat is shrunk away from the bone and the bone is purely exposed. Um, that's about the time that your meat is done. Um, and this again, we're going to make sure that we cover this so that nothing is exposed to the oven. And that's going to be in that roaster. And that's it. Your lamb is ready to go.